These people are supposed to win our votes. These people are supposed to fight for our votes. A concept the Republican Party understands, okay? That's why they're doing the abortion shit right now, as a matter of fact. Democrats only rely on the Republicans being fucking evil and literally sit back and just enjoy the show and fundraise off of how vicious Republicans are getting. And until people are like, okay, I can't do this anymore. We got to fucking vote for a Democrat again. Uh, they're, they're fine. They're fine in a position where they have no power. It's their favorite thing. Don't defend them. They are freaks, dude. Do not defend these elites in actual positions of power, okay? You should be just as angry at the fucking Democratic Party for their inaction, for refusing to codify Roe v. Wade, for refusing to do anything but fucking fundraise, dude. Stop. Stop it. I mean, look at this. Here, clear as fucking day, dude. Here, here you go, man. Here you go. So we just showed you, I just showed you what Obama had to say right here. Well, the first thing I do as president is, is sign the Freedom of Choice Act. Now, uh, that's the first thing. Uh, now, the Freedom of Choice Act is not my highest legislative priority. You know what's the fucking awful, too? Like, half the fucking people that were in there, in that room, are still in power. But here, this is what they did. This is what the Democrats are doing, bro. Let's go. Bro, this shit sucks, dude. I just like, you know what? This shit only works if you love America, okay? This only works. This kind of fucking pandering only works if you truly, genuinely, in your heart, have love for America and have love for the institutions and feel like they defend you. If you have already lost that, if you have lost all hope that the American government is going to take your side on any fucking particular matter, why the fuck would you care about this? You just think, like, these are a bunch of fucking assholes who are running around singing and shit. Like, they're, they're insane. This looks insane to any normal person, okay? If you're a fucking normal human being, you're like, I've been voting Democrat my whole life. What the fuck has that gotten me? Holy shit, they can't even fucking defend fundamental rights like medical procedures that everyone should be able to get if they choose to. Like, what the fuck? What have they done for me? I don't give a fuck like, oh, God bless America. I don't give a fuck about this theater shit, dude. Fuck it. It's lame as hell. The No, man. No, it's not God bless America, okay? It's motherfuck America. Here, goddamn America, dude. Here, here's Reverend God. Wright, Obama's famous preacher that Obama fucking cast aside once he was done taking advantage of his, like, uh, you know, political bona fides and his clout in Chicago. <laughs> Where governments lie, God does not lie. Where governments change, God does not change. And I'm through now. But let me leave you with one more thing. Governments fail. The government in this text, comprised of Caesar, Quirinius, Pontius Pilate, Pontius Pilate, the Roman government failed. The British government used to rule from east to west. The British government had a union jack. She colonized Kenya. Ghana, Nigeria, Jamaica, Barbados, Trinidad, and Hong Kong. Her navies ruled the seven seas all the way down to the tip of Argentina in the Falklands. But the British government failed. The Russian government failed. The Japanese government failed. The German government failed. And the United States of America government, when it came to treating her citizens of Indian descent, Fairly, she failed. She put them on reservations. When it came to treating her citizens of Japanese descent fairly, she failed. She put them in internment prison camps. When it came to treating the citizens of African descent fairly, America failed. She put them in chains. The government put them on slave quarters, put them on action block, auction blocks, put them in cotton fields, put them in inferior schools, put them in substandard housing, put them in scientific experience, experiments, put them in the lowest paying jobs, put them outside the equal protection of the law, kept them out of their racist bastions of higher education, and locked them into positions of hopelessness and helplessness. 
the government gives them the drugs, builds bigger prisons, passes a three-strike law, and then wants us to sing God bless America? No, no, no. Not God bless America. God damn America that's in the Bible for killing innocent people. God damn America for treating us citizens as less than human. God damn America as long as she tries to act like she is God and she is supreme. Kills. Fucking goaded. Legend. Absolute fucking legend. God damn, dude. What a fucking incredible, incredible take, dude. Holy shit. And it's right, for the record. He is totally fucking right. There's no God bless America, dude. Why? Why God bless America? Why? What is this? What does this do? What does this do other than fucking jerk each other off and act like this right here? What you see in front of your eyes at the fucking steps right here as they sing like God bless America, this is a lie. They are lying to you. They're telling you that these institutions deserve to be protected. They're telling you that there is still some semblance of protection, some semblance of normalcy. They're trying to gr desperately grasp at fucking straws and tell you that these institutions will put your interests, will defend your interests, and will put you ahead of corporate profits, will put you ahead of the Republican Party's pathetic, vulturous, monstrous, parasitic, bloodthirsty policy positions. It's a lie. It's an absolute fucking lie. And it's a song and dance that these fucking crooks are engaging in. Okay? Now, obviously, the real villains of society are not the Democrats. Okay? But they too are villains. Because inaction in the face of injustice is siding with the oppressor. It's just the truth. And the oppressive attitude is not just coming from the Republican Party, but from the core of capital. Okay? The, po the power. And the Democrats capitulate every fucking step of the way because they too have the same exact corporate benefactors. But the most offensive part about this issue, specifically uh, women's reproductive rights, is that it's not an immediately uh, uh, economic policy, okay? Some of, some of you will turn around and say, oh, well, you're wrong. It does have these sorts of consequences. They're trying to improve the fucking baby pool. They're trying to, like, force people to carry pregnancies to term. Sure, but on its face, this is not as, as direct as, uh, I don't know, uh, utilizing white supremacist values through the criminal justice system to ensure that you have a steady fucking prison labor system, a slave labor system uh, in place, and consistently push black people down, consistently use undocumented immigrants as a, as a second-class uh, citizen labor pool that is constantly fucking cycling in as a consequence of all the fucking instability that we cause in their countries, in Latin American countries, okay? That all is intertwined with one another. But when it comes to Protecting women's reproductive rights. This is a simple wedge issue. 64% of Americans agree that Roe v. Wade should have remained the law of the land. Every single Supreme Court justice that was appointed in the last fucking 10 years has said that they see Roe v. Wade as a super precedent. What does that mean? That means that they believe and understand that this was well established and they were not going to change it. They lied. They lied on Senate hearings and they can get away with it. They can fucking totally get away with it, and they will continue to get away with it. Why? Because these people in positions of power don't care. Rich people are always going to be able to get abortions, okay? Rich Republicans are always going to be able to get abortions for their daughters. They're always going to be able to get abortions for their mistresses. As a matter of fact, they're going to force people to go and get abortions if they have a mistress, as they have done time and time again. This is just the fuck over poor people. But because of that, and because of the fact that there is no like immediate material reason for why this kind of cruelty is happening, Democrats should have, should have solved this. Democrats should have codified this. But instead, they fundraise off of it. <laughs>